Hallelujah, brethren. I bless the name of the Lord. I want to say thank you so much. I'm Pastor Stephen Adeke. Uh, this is Gospel Revival Center International from Gericho Town. I want to bring to you a documentary from Gospel Revival Center International. Our Father in the Lord, Bishop John Yetich, and the partners in Christ Jesus have begun this project of community development. Three years down the line. Uh, but uh, last year, that is 2014, uh, one of the pastors in this region, in Kericho, uh, was, locked, was located uh, to be need. And uh, uh, this pastor, by the name, Pastor Thomas Beck was found to be uh, really in need and needed assistance. He is widowed and he has uh, three, three children now. He had no house and the church to our father was in the As you see, this house that has just been constructed here uh, was built for him uh, 300,000 was spent in that house and as you see this house standing here it has taken the hand of the Lord I want to bless the Lord because of this house you are seeing uh, this is the work of the Lord. So, I'm la to go to the house. I'm going 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 to go Na shukuru bishop hiyo sio ndio gani ambaye ameshuhudia kwa ajili ya maisha yangu kana bora kwa kila wakati kuna ubepe jonga hiyo amenipigania sana lakini awekie jo bongo so na shukuru mungu kiko tu mungu amemsimamia na tawe bongo hilo na shukuru kwa hayo aginge na mune jo na mungu alikuwa anajua kwa sababu sawa kanisa ya tafta ile ni nilienda kanisa la changa ni sawa sio kulikuwa na makanisa hapa Nakuwa <laughs> kama watoto wao wasivide wanajipikia hii nyumba hakuna kikombe hata moja hakuna kuni hakuna nini so nilikuwa nime nimekuja hapa mara nyingi hata tulipanza kujenga nyumba si kuona majirani majirani wale si wa kanisa ambao hata wanakuja kusema waje tusaidie tufanye hivi hapa watu si watu wa sio watu wako na utu ni watu mbaya hawaje kuja hata siku moja you can imagine Labda leo wamekuja sababu wameona kuna kitu inaendelea huko lakini tangu tuweke mabati kwa hiyo nyumba tufanye nini hakuna jirani ule wa kawaida hata mzee wa mitaa 
kuja kusema hivi kitu wale mefanika hapa kumanisha hapa hiko kisa amba nafukia mabati za mwini Amen hii mungu mungu asake watu wako waone kumekua hapa kiki ani mpaka hata wakati mwini nambia mutu mimi ini ini musada mutu wana niambia unataka kibarua hata nipe niambia Yani instead ya kujitolea bure, hiyo ni majitolea. I want to tell you I've spent everything. Mimi ni matumia everything, sina kitu. Baka hata za zikita na shiba kukuja hapa, sababu na hivyo kuna ni wanafanya kazi hapa na wataniuliza. Mina, mina shika simu dani ya nyubangu, na nishangari taomba nani mpesa. Nimekopa hiyo na hito ya mswari hote, hakuna kitu na daiwa kila mani nime. Ya kikise hiki kimekua. Sio kwa sababu wapendwa, ninataka nionekane. Nimefanya hikitu, kama mtoto wa mungu, na ndiyo ni mausia watoto watu wa mungu kwa mba sisi wote tufanyo hili, hii ni mwanzo wa mambo mazuri this year 2015 our father in the lord bishop john yatich and his partners in the lord also found one of the servants of the lord reverend emmanuel Uh, who was from AGC Church, uh, staying in Matobo area, uh, was also located to be one of the people who was really in need. And uh, he was found uh, living in a, a small hut that you see around here. Uh, he's a man who has a big family. He has eight children and uh, he was found to have a need to be assisted. As you see, this house cannot accommodate the entire family. Sana watu wa hapa wakaweza kunisaidia kiazi ambapo walimipea uh, temperari li iroboeka ni, ni ishi mali hapa, ni kilima mboga hapa na nikaishi kwa hiyo nyumba hiyo Uh, hii nyumba ni rume moja ambao ina upana ya miguu mbili na nusu na urefu wa miguu tatu so niliishi nyumba na kumbuka niliishi mimi mwenyewe na watoto wangu uh, wao wote watoto nane pamoja na mimi so tulikuwa familia ya watu kumi tulikuwa tunaishi hapa so jinsi ya kuishi kwa hii nyumba tuliishi kwa neema ya Mungu kwa maana Uh, hatu kuwa na lingine la kusema au lingine la kufanya hii nyumba ilikuwa imewekwa juu karatazi ya nylon ambayo ilikuwa inasuia mfua uh, so nyumba yenyewe ilitusaidia kwa muda wa mwaka mmoja karibu na nusu ambapo msamaria mwema mwingine uh, ambao ni relative yangu wa karibu niliishi kwa hii nyumba ikiwa na karatazi ya, ya, ya nylon ikafika kiwango hii nyumba nylon pepa iliraruka ikawa ninapokea maji usiku uh, singeweza kulala nilikuwa nafunika watoto na hiyo karatazi ya nylon alafu nikawa ninapokea maji karaya nikimwaga karaya nikimwaga usiku kuja mpaka asubuhi saa zingine uh, uh, tungeweza kulala so tukaishi kwa hii nyumba mpaka mzamaria mfulani alipoguswa akaninunulia mabati kumi ambao nilikuja kuegesha juu ya hii nyumba kwa maana nyumba yenyewe haina miti ngumu yenye ingeweza kupigiwa mshumari so ilikuwa ni kuegesha tu na kufunga na sengenge so nilikuwa nimefunga mabati yenyewe na sengenge yeah. uh, alafu nikaishi mahali hapa hapa ilikuwa ni mahali uwanja uh, ndogo ya nyumba ambao saa zingine ningekuja kuota jua na watoto wangu mahali hapa na nikamuomba tu Mungu nikamweleza Mungu unipe niridhike na yale ambao umenitendea kwa maana hata nikijikaza nikilia nikifanya chochote haina 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 usaidizi yoyote bali ni mimi kumlilia Mungu tu na kungojea neema zako Mungu kwa sababu mimi kama muhubiri nilikuwa najua kuna wakati wa Mungu ambao Mungu anaweza fungua njia uh, Mungu anaweza fungua njia na nisaidike kiazi uh, ilifika kiwango ambao nilitoka mahali hapa uh, kwa sababu kanisa ya AGC walini promise kazi ya Compassion Ministry ambao ni NGO ambao iliundwa ndani ya kanisa ambao ilikuwa kazi yangu ni kushughulikia eh, machokora ambao walikuwa na nia ya kujenga eh, children's home upande wa eh, Highlands Evangelical University karibu na hapo mali inaitwa eh, 
Melit. Uh, yeah. So, walikuwa waanze uh, children's home hapo, ambao ningeajiriwa ni chunge wao watoto. Lakini project yenyewe baada ya kunitoa hapa na mzigo kidogo ambayo nilikuwa nayo kwa mana wajua mali yangu yote, viti, vitanda, mangu, vitu vingi vyote mbaka nyumba, iliangamia upande wa mao kwa mana baada ya kutolewa tulipewa notisi ya siku mbili, ambao hatukuweza kubeba mali yetu, yu mali iliangamia na moto, uh, ilienda na miale ya moto ikawa majifu. Kukate kidogo, nikumanisa kwa hii nyumba urukona isi na watoto wako wote watu kumi, uh, tulikuwa tunaisho ke vijana wangu wakubwa wawili yeah. niliwafanya nili wa, walale na vijana wa jirani upande huu mana eh, nilikuja kupendana na majirani tukaishi na wao kwa roo mzuri yeah. ata wakanipea maali penye watoto vijana wa fulana wakubwa wawili yeah. walikuwa wanalala yeah. uh, mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nalala upande huo yeah. uh, alafu katikati ilikuwa ni kwa moto yeah. uh, kona hii nilikuwa na watandekia watoto wadogo uh, na wakati wa mfua maji ilikuwa inamwagika ndani tunafu, tunafunika na karatasi ya nylon uh, bora tu waone asubuhi ijayo uh, ilifika kiwango ilifika kiwango hata vijana wangu wao wawili walikoza mahali walifika nyumba yenye wangelala wakakuta wakakuta mwenye nyumba hayuko na kifuli iko kwa mlango Badala ya kurudi walikuwa wanajua hakuna mahali wazazi watatuweka yeah. wakalala uwanjani mahali hapa kwa hiyo miti oh, yeah. e, wakalala kwa hiyo miti mpaka asubuhi wakakuja e, so mimi kusikia hiyo ushuhuda kwamba vijana walilala kwa msitu kwa miti hapo uh, ilinifanya nilie lakini baadaye nikajua tu hata machozi haiwezi kusaidia kitu and out of it our father the lord bishop john yetich uh, was touched by the lord and he decided uh, to construct a house for him. Uh, good enough, one of the members of the church, uh, Sister Faith, uh, decided to give out his piece of land uh, that we have just used uh, to construct a good house for him. Brethren, in the name of Jesus Christ, so this is the place uh, whereby we were given a sister faith so that we can erect a building for our brother, Reverend Manuel Basuvel, who has been affected from uh, Mao Forest and he has been living as an EVT. So today we come and decide as the church to construct a temporary structure here for him to use for the time being as we wait for God. So this is a small portion of the land that we have been given by our sister Faith. We are going to build a house. So there is the neighbor, to Faith, and also Madam, uh, one of the schools here. Uh, she, has, she has also agreed to assist us to give us this place, though she has some plants here, some groups, but she has decided to over these groups to be destroyed because of the building of the structure. So we are going now to commence the building from now. We are here with uh, Fundi, who is going uh, to measure where we are going to build. Thank you so much for those who have supported us. Amen. Okay. Ko ire yugo a portion of Madame Faith. Ko gi ko ne chira u na gi weki ni gongo. Ko gi kan le je ya to ko le a mua wa. Ko mu gi ti jo ba ko le na ko ti ki ko ti a ta chu ba ro ko gongo ki mua gongo ni zo. Ma ti ni le ko mi tu ki ko mi ro ta ni ki ge le je ma ki ko ti a ta chu ba ni ko me ni ta ni ki le a je ta. Tu ko ju ge destroy ni je ni ba. Ta mu ba ko ki ko ti a ta chu ba ni ko ba beru ret ko ni ko ni ana. Ko gongo ni zo ma ti ni ga je sa.
before me I know who stands behind The God of angel armies Is always by my side The one who reigns forever He is a friend of mine The God of angel armies Is always by my side I know who goes before me I know who stands behind The God of angel armies Is always by my side The one who reigns forever He is a friend of mine The God of angel armies Is always by my side The God of angel armies Is always by my side myself away so you can use me I give myself away I give myself away so you can come on let him know I give myself Give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. What would happen if a generation embraced this? Come on, tell me. Here I am. Here I am.
you see the house that is standing now here, uh, this is the house that we have constructed for our Reverend Emmanuel, uh, who was evicted from Mao Forest uh, some, years, uh, some years back. Uh, we want to bless the name of Jesus Christ because of what he's doing uh, through our father, Bishop John Getich, and his partners. Uh, we want to welcome uh, you all, entire community, our people outside in the world. I want you to see what the Lord is doing in this region of Rift Valley in Kenya. Uh, this is what the Lord is doing through his servant. Uh, we want to thank the Lord so much uh, because this is uh, the work that has just begun in this region. And uh, uh, this work will continue uh, through our Father Bishop John Yetich and the entire church of Gospel Revival Center International uh, to carry out with the responsibility of helping the, the needy in the society. Finally, I want to say to my daddy, I uh, thank you so much for the inspiration. I uh, thank you so much uh, because this is a vision that the Lord has put in you. Uh, my father, God bless you so much. And the entire partners in Christ that are, partner, are partnering with my father in the Lord, I also want to say God bless you and thank you. I want to welcome the entire community and the entire world into this function because this is the body of Christ. And this is the love of Christ. And this is what Christ had purpose for us to do. And this is what Jesus had left for us to do here on earth. So, all my viewers, I want to say you are blessed as we partake together the body of Christ and helping people who are in need, I like these ones that we have begun helping. Thank you and God bless you. In Jesus' name.